you can see the power in the in the new media if you just do if you compare uh, the the Hama massacre of 1982 with the with the events of the uh, of the present. In 1982, even people who were following events, uh, even people in government who were following events, didn't know much about the massacre when it took place. About a week afterwards, news started trickling out of Syria that something really nasty happened in uh, in, in Hama. But the whole thing was over before the world was really even aware that it had, uh, that it had taken place. It's, it's striking to think, 1982. I was an adult. I hate to think that I'm that old, actually. But, but I was an adult when that took place. And you th just think about how much the world has changed. That is absolutely impossible in, in, in our world today. If you think about, um, uh, if you think about the events when they, when they broke out in, in Syria, the opposition broke out in Syria, within a month, within a month, Human Rights Watch had a very detailed report about what was going on in Syria, had it published, right? It's, an, there's just a, it's a completely different world uh, uh, in that regard. Now, in addition, the, the, uh, the opposition was able to get, their, uh, to, to get a continuous narrative of events out to, to, the, to the world, and it had a real political effect. Uh, uh, just one, two, two quick examples, the, the, the Qataris and the Turks both t started to change their uh, their attitude toward the regime. This was striking because both of these um, both of these countries had worked very hard to rehabilitate the Assad uh, the Assad regime, and they I think for l largely for political for um, reasons of, of public opinion they were forced to shift um, and distance themselves considerably from the uh, uh, from the regime. So I, I, I think this, for me, it's undeniable that this has really changed the world. But there are also uh, limitations, and I think you can see them in, in, in Syria as well. These tools are most effective in countries where there is already a modicum of, uh, 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 of freedom and independence, where people can already organize to, to, to a certain extent. And it it's then has a kind of an, exponentially, uh, an exponential uh, uh, increase. In a place like Syria, where the government is going to clamp down on you, and it's, it's, it is, it's not inhibited in any way and is willing to use force, um, uh, is willing also to now, I, I understand that the security services are making people, when they come off the airports, when they come, when they come off the plane, open up their computer and open up their Facebook page and give their passwords. Uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and they're using this then to track people, to track their activities on, um, online. So now, if, you wanna, if, you're, if you're a Syrian, you want to use Facebook in an effective way, you have to set up a, complete, uh, a completely different persona. Um, and even that is, you know, can, be, can be cracked by the, uh, by the government. Um, and then there's a, another comparison to be made that shows the limitations. I think that's between Egypt and, 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 uh, and Syria. Uh, and, you know, if you, if you ask why was all this pressure brought to bear in Egypt, new media is part of it, but let's not forget as well the old media. The, the events in Tahrir Square were under the Klieg lights of CNN. It was 24-7 coverage by the old media, uh, or at least by cable news, uh, uh, if we can now call that old media. The, um, and in, in, in Syria, there was no similar way. that The opposition has not been as successful at, uh, at dramatizing their struggle with the, um, uh, with the regime and putting it on the international agenda in a continuous, um, uh, in a continuous fashion. So uh, uh, just to sum up then, I'd say uh, I think absolutely this has had a, a, a massive impact. I think it's created a new world. I don't think, I think there's going to be a level of accountability in Middle Eastern politics that we haven't seen before because of the new media. But there are limitations to this. And let's not also forget what, what Dan said. That was the element of surprise. Um, the, the, the dictators are going to, uh, they're not just going to sit around like potted plants. They are going to respond. They are going to come up with strategies for dealing with this. And like the Belarus government, they're going to become much more sophisticated at, uh, at manipulating public opinion and at, at playing a, um, an authoritarian public opinion game that they've never had to play before.